Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Manchester United terminating Jadon Sancho's contract would be extremely costly. It would be extremely costly for Manchester United to terminate the contract of English attacker Jadon Sancho, reports the Athletic journalist David Arnstein. Reports emerged during the week that the Old Trafford club have discussed severing ties with the 23-year-old instead of trying to recoup some of the £73 million they spent on recruiting his services from Borussia Dortmund in 2021. Sancho currently earns £250,000 per week at Man United and still has around three and a half years left on his current contract. As a result, a mutual termination of his contract will cost the Red Devils plenty of money given the finances that would be involved in paying him a severance package. Resolving the future of the Englishman is one of the most pressing issues at Man United given that there are no plans to reintegrate him into the team after he fell out with manager Eric Ten Hag in September. Sancho last played in August and has been training with the youth teams since he was banished permanently from all first team activities and removed from their WhatsApp group. He was linked with an exit in the summer when the transfer window in Saudi Arabia was still open, but he refused to hold talks with suitors. Juventus and Dortmund have both been linked with signing him ahead of the January transfer window but his salary is proving to be a stumbling block. Man United were unable to hand Harry Maguire a payoff capable of covering the reduced wages West Ham United offered him after both clubs agreed to a deal in the summer and they may need to resolve a loan deal and pay a large chunk of his wages to get Sancho out. Incoming co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe will be hoping to prevent a recurrence of similar issues going forward as he closes in on taking over the football operations and the British billionaire and his team have plenty of work on their hands. Christian Fall confirms Real Madrid want to resign Rafael Varane after David Alaba injury blow. Real Madrid are interested in re-signing Manchester United defender Rafael Varane following a long-term injury to David Alaba, according to Christian Falk. Varane has had a difficult season with the Red Devils. He has been largely out of the starting lineup, but has recently become a key player amid injury concerns. It was reported on Monday that Madrid are considering a move for Varane after Alaba's serious knee injury and he could be available for around 20 million euros. Falk has now confirmed the same story on his ex-account. He posted, after the injury of David Alaba, Real Madrid is interested in Rafael Varane. Back in October, Varane found himself out of favour for the right centre-back role, with manager Eric Ten Hag preferring to stick with Harry Maguire. The Dutchman emphasised that the Frenchman was not effective enough from the left centre-back position. He preferred to go with Johnny Evans or Victor Lindelof. However, Varane has recently been reinstated into the starting eleven. He played the full 90 minutes of the Bayern defeat in the Champions League group stage. Varane started on the left side of central defence against Liverpool and he was simply world class, making a stunning 15 clearances and blocking three shots. The £42 million signing also won 100% of his aerial duels at Anfield. He proved his credentials to Ten Hag in the hard-fought goalless draw on the road. With his turn around and the current injury crisis, Maguire, Lindelof and Lissandro Martinez injured, there is no way that United will contemplate losing Varane in January. Madrid will have to look elsewhere. The defender's deal expires at the end of the season, but United can extend it for another year. There is still a possibility that he could leave on a free transfer next summer. Eintracht Frankfurt chief very confident of signing Man United midfielder on loan. Eintracht Frankfurt sporting director Marcus 
has said that he is very confident that the Manchester United midfielder will join the club on an initial loan deal. The Dutch international has been a fringe player for the Red Devils this term, and he has played just 21 minutes across all competitions under manager Eric Ten Hag. As a result, we are not surprised that he is moving on. Van de Beek underwent a successful medical with Frankfurt earlier this week and the small details are left to be finalized. The Bundesliga outfit will have the option to buy him for less than 10 million euros and Marcus has told Kicker that he is confident that the midfielder will join the club soon. He said, I'm very confident that Donny will be with us for the next six months. We still need quality also across the board. We need experience. We are a very young team. Donny can certainly help us with that. The 26-year-old has endured a difficult three-year spell with the Red Devils. He has registered just two goals and two assists from 62 appearances across all competitions. Having gone completely out of favor this term, the club and Van de Beek have made the right decision to part ways as soon as the January transfer window reopens. Van de Beek has struggled to cope with the intensity of the Premier League since his 39 million euros move from Ajax and has the chance to revive his career in a fresh league next year. The hierarchy will be hoping that he can make regular goal contributions such that Frankfurt are convinced to trigger the buy clause agreed as part of the loan deal. Wiener Bahshi chief set to hold meeting with Mon United forward over a January move. Wiener Bahshi board member Baki is planning to hold a meeting with Manchester United forward Anthony Martial over a January transfer, according to Derelis Postasi. Martial has had a disappointing season with the Red Devils and he has contributed just one goal and one assist from 13 appearances in the Premier League. His current contract expires at the end of the campaign and United have decided against triggering an extension clause to keep him for another 12 months. As a result, he is anticipated to leave in either January or next summer. And Derelis report that Wiener Bahshi are exploring a winter transfer for him. Baki is scheduled to have a meeting with Martial to discuss personal terms and find out whether Wiener Bahshi can afford to sign him at the turn of the year. Fred left United for Wiener Bahshi last summer. He is their highest paid player at 102,000 euros per week. In comparison, Martial earns around €291,000 weekly at Old Trafford. His prospect of joining the Turkish giants in January could depend on him accepting a huge pay cut. If he is reluctant to do so, he may have to listen to offers from Saudi Arabia. The cash-rich Pro League have been splashing plenty of cash and could easily meet his demands. It's left to be seen which career path Martial chooses. He is unlikely to receive his current salary at any other European club, considering his lack of progress and injury record. In United's point of view, they will be hoping to secure a transfer fee in January. With add-ons and incentives, the club have spent £50 million on Martial since his arrival from Monaco in 2015. Barcelona or Real Madrid could offer Mason Greenwood footballing redemption. Man United outcast Mason Greenwood continues to excel for Getafe in La Liga and his form has caught the attention of the Spanish top flight's three biggest clubs. According to Mondo Deportivo, both Barcelona and Real Madrid are keeping tabs on the 22-year-old. Atletico Madrid are also believed to be firming up any initial interest after Greenwood inspired Getafe to a 3-3 draw on a Tuesday. Of course, for any of the three Spanish teams to have any chance of signing the player, they will need to get the express agreement of Man United. Though this is an incredibly delicate situation, Greenwood could find that Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his team, once confirmed as taking over the football side of the business, take a hard-nosed decision on the player, which could see him resurrect his career at Old Trafford. It would be a big call should it happen, given the outcry in the summer when it appeared that United were testing the water from a supporter perspective. The backlash was ultimately what saw Greenwood move on loan to Hit in the first place. With over 
half of the season is still to go, there is plenty of football to be played and Greenwood's situation is likely to become much clearer the nearer we are to the culmination of the campaign. Manchester United are still monitoring Everton midfielder Amad Onana but Barcelona now ahead in the race. Manchester United remain keen on Everton midfielder Amad Onana and are continuing to monitor his performances ahead of a potential swoop, according to French outlet Foot Mercato. However, the Red Devils risk missing out on the former Lille star as Barcelona have joined them in the race to secure his services. Arsenal have also been linked with an interest in Onana, but Barca have recently held talks with his representatives a stumbling block for the La Liga club, which could still hand Man United an advantage in the race as Everton want around 55 million euros for the 22-year-old. Barcelona do not have the cash and are looking to move for him in the summer. It appears that the Old Trafford club are also unlikely to move for the Belgian next month after their football director John Marteau told their supporters last week not to expect a busy January transfer window. Man United want to remain compliant with financial fair play rules and spending 55 million euros on a midfielder next month is unlikely to happen. Their midfield could do with such a physical and creative defensive midfielder, despite the emergence of Kobe Maino, Casimero and Sofiane Mrabat have struggled to impress this term and Onana would be an upgrade on the deal. He blew his suitors away with a huge performance against Burnley at the weekend, bagging a goal, completing 87% of his attempted passes, winning 78% of his duels, 11 out of 14, and recovering the ball four times. Everton were hit with a 10-point deduction recently, but have managed to bounce back with the Belgium international playing a key role in their recent impressive form and losing such a player midway through the campaign is the last thing they will allow to happen. A summer exit is more realistic and Man United could look to seal a move for him permitted in coming new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe approves as he bids to turn their fortunes around on and off the pitch. Eric Ten Hag has asked Man United to beat Tottenham Hotspur in the race for Jean-Claire Todibo. Manchester United have conceded three or more goals nine times this season, with four of those coming at Old Trafford. Not the kind of defensive impact Eric Ten Hag was hoping for in his second season. To be fair to him, injuries have severely impacted the manager's wish to select a stable back four, with last season's outstanding duo Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez both having their issues. The former France international has been linked with a return to former club Real Madrid, and even though the former Ajax coach wants him to stay this season, contractual issues also need to be resolved. Amid all this uncertainty and poor form, the Red Devils boss is desperate for help via the winter transfer window. United have been linked with a move for Jean-Claire Todibo of Nice since the summer, but a move did not materialize back then due to the uncertainty surrounding the club's former skipper's future. Recent reports have indicated that Tottenham Hotspur have skipped ahead of United in the race for the Frenchman and have opened discussions with the players' camp. Italian journalist Rudy Galati has claimed on X that Ten Hag has personally asked for Todibo's signature in January. He posted, Ten Hag, as already reported, is currently not at risk and is planning, aligned with Man United, possible transfer moves to strengthen the squad already in January. In particular, the Dutch manager asked for a new centre-back, Jean-Claire Todibo, is at the top of the list. The 23-year-old has put his disappointing Barcelona spell behind him and impressed last season, helping Nice concede the second least amount of goals in League One last season. Todibo, who stands at 6 feet and 2 inches, has proven to be a monster at the heart of the backline this campaign as well helping his side keep nine clean sheets while also registering an assist with Nice currently second in the French top flight. 
Sir Jim Ratcliffe, who is close to selling a 25% stake in United, also owns the French outfit and the Reds are prepared to utilize the NUS chairman to ensure the centre-back comes to Manchester instead of North London. But whether United have the requisite funds to stave off Spurs remains to be seen. Outgoings will be needed first, or Ten Hag could lose yet another defensive target. Over 100 jobs expected to go at Man United as Sir Jim gets down to business. With the partial takeover of Man United by Sir Jim Ratcliffe expected to be ratified soon, a large number of staff members at Old Trafford will be looking over their shoulders. That's because, according to Football Insider, the new owner is looking to slash the workforce by about 100 once he takes over, believing that many departments at the Red Devils are overstaffed. Taking such a huge and decisive step as one of the first acts of his tenure will indicate to everyone else that he means business and they will all have to up the ant. It wasn't long ago that United were considered best in a class, but they have long since been formidable on or off the pitch. Clearly, Sir Jim and his NOS team are taking things very seriously indeed as they look to try and restore the club to the top table of domestic and European football. Sorting things out on the pitch will take time and won't happen overnight, even if the new owners are able to put certain ways of working in a place as soon as they take charge. Behind the scenes is a different story, however, and if the club can streamline their operations in that regard, it can only be a positive move. It won't make Sir Jim very popular about the place, but then he hasn't become a billionaire by being someone that everyone likes. In order to be successful, difficult decisions have to be made, and they haven't been for far too long at Manchester United. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.